Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I wanna to show you how to make dyed drop cloth curtains. So right now we are restoring an old farmhouse, which if you're following along, you know about that. And one of the rooms that I decided to tackle right away is the mud room. So it's in the back of the house and my plan for that room is that kids will come in from the outside, drop all their stuff, and then not track all the mud into the rest of the house. But it was looking pretty dingy with the paint colors and the floor, and so I knew it needed some paint and maybe a few other things to kind of spruce it up. I want to show you how I made the curtains. So it has a huge wall of windows, and it's a little bit wonky. I showed you in my first video of this place. They basically just slapped up an extra layer of windows over the original windows in order to make it a little bit more weatherproof. Well, it still gets really cold in there and it also looks kind of funny. So I thought hanging four large curtain panels would kind of help with the insulation, but then also kind of break up that big wall of weirdness. Normally I like light and bright, but it's a mud room. And I know that if I would put anything close to white curtains in there. They would be constantly having to be washed and that's not what I want at all. So I decided instead to go the dyed route. Now normally I buy my drop cloth on Amazon because they have 100% cotton, a certain brand that I like. It takes to dye and bleach better. But I was in a hurry for this project so I just actually picked up a few packages at my local hardware store and it actually took to the dye just fine. So what I did was I bought two nine foot by 12 foot drop cloths and I took each of them and I cut them in half so that I had a four and a half by 12 foot long panel and another four and a half by 12 foot. Four of those total for two packages of drop cloth. I was thinking about three containers of the dye per drop cloth would be good, but a local craft store didn't have six navies at the store. So what I did was I grabbed a few denim dyes and I grabbed a few of the navies Maybe. And instead of experimenting on each one, I wanted them all to look really consistent. So I took all the dye that they had, which was five total, and put it all in a mason jar to mix it up and incorporate the dye to make it even. Then I divided it in half so that I could use the same amount per drop cloth because I didn't want one to be a dark navy, one to be a light navy. And then I actually did four different sessions. So I did half of each of the drop cloths at a time to not overcrowd the washer. I fill the machine with hot water on the small load setting and then add a whole bunch of boiling water in. This helps to avoid anything looking splotchy and for it to be nice and evenly dyed and then add the dye. That way it can kind of mix up before I add the drop cloth. And I added some salt. So to recap what I did, I used five containers of red dye, couple denims, three navies, divided it in half to do do one half for each drop cloth and then I cut each drop cloth in halves so that I did four different washing sessions with hot boiling water and about a quarter of a container of salt for each one and I ended up getting pretty consistent results and actually the color I was going for I didn't want super dark navy I wanted something that would hide stains so it all came out in a very beautiful color next I went in and I measured the floor to ceiling height I wanted my curtains to pull just a touch and to go all the way above the windows all the way down to the floor so it was right at a hundred inches now the cool thing about drop cloth is the side seams are already completely done, and if you play your cards right, the bottom as well. So I cut it to where each piece was about 105 inches in length. That way I could have a pretty good size casing for the rod. Now of course, since I cut them in half, I didn't have to put in one hem on the side of the curtain because it was obviously frayed. So to do that, I just folded it over about a half inch, another half inch, and then just sewed all the way down. You can reference my hem video. If you haven't seen that, it's in my Simple Sewing series where I talk about how to create a basic hem. Now for the top of the curtain, I wanted them to be a total of 100 inches. So to account for the rod going through, I added four inches to that. And so I cut my pieces 104 inches in length. Then I pressed the top edge down an inch and then another three inches and then sewed all the way down that hem to create a rod pocket for the curtains. Super basic. All this took was seriously a side hem and then just a little pocket at the top for the rod. 
that's it, super simple. And I really love the way it adds a little bit of color to the mudroom and a little bit of warmth and just kind of breaks up that large window that wasn't looking too great. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this very simple tutorial. If you're brand new to sewing, I'll leave a link in the playlist below for my simple sewing series, help you learn exactly how to get out your sewing machine, you know, thread it, make him seams, and to understand the basics that you can be confident in sewing. Also, I'll leave links to some other great projects that I have. I have a tutorial for a curtain I made in my son's room for their closet. I have a little drop cloth cafe type curtain I made for our bathroom and then all kinds of other sewing projects as well. If you are brand new, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.